everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three vegan recipes that would be perfect for busy mornings before school or work. Personally, for me, I know that when I don't eat a good breakfast, it sort of throws off my whole day and I notice my energy levels are a lot lower and I just can't concentrate as well. But I understand that some people are busy in the mornings or you don't necessarily have time. So luckily with these recipes, you can make them all ahead of time. So all you have to do in the morning is just wake up, grab your food and go and you still get a delicious, healthy, and nourishing meal. So I'm going to show you how to make some overnight zucchini oatmeal with a blueberry chia jam, some sweet potato and black bean breakfast burritos, and last but not least, some chunky monkey banana bread muffins. So let's get right on to the recipes. So first we're going to be making our zucchini overnight oats with a blueberry chia seed jam. And this may sound strange, but just hear me out for this recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is peel a zucchini. And you don't have to peel it if you don't want to, but I like to peel the zucchini skin because otherwise the oatmeal will look kind of green. And I'm using a large zucchini and this recipe made me about four servings. And the zucchini amount is kind of adjustable so if you don't want as much zucchini and you're just starting out putting zucchini in your oats you may want to use a smaller one or you can use a bigger one if you want but either way you're just going to peel the zucchini make sure it's white like i just showed you and after you peel it you're just going to grate it and personally i find it easiest just to grate it directly into the pot it saves me a lot of cleanup i still manage to make a mess but you know i make less of a mess when i grate it over the pot so then we're going to add our oatmeal to the pot and for this recipe we're using steel cut oats which are different than instant or quick oats. We're also going to add a tablespoon of cinnamon and this is a lot of cinnamon I will admit. If you don't like cinnamon you could use pumpkin pie spice, cacao powder, anything you like really. It's pretty versatile. And then for my liquid I like to do half part plant milk, half part water. So I added a mix of soy milk and water to this. And then you're just going to give everything a good stir and bring this mixture to a boil. If you like to sweeten your oatmeal, at this point you could add in some chopped dates or some coconut sugar or maple syrup, but personally, I just like to sweeten mine with fruit, but feel free to do whatever you want. Once the oatmeal has cooked down, as you can see, it's nice and thick and bubbly. And one thing to keep in mind is that this will get thicker as it cools down and as it sits in your fridge. So I would probably stop cooking your oatmeal a little bit sooner than you normally do. So then for our chia seed jam, I decided to use blueberries, but you could use any berry really. I just added about 10 ounces of frozen berries into a pot with the juice of half of a lemon. Then I brought the heat up on that, gave everything a stir, and then once the berries had sort of thawed a little bit, I added our chia seeds to this. And again, if you wanted to, you could add extra sweetener if you like your jam to be a little more sweet. Some maple syrup would be really good here. But you're just going to stir everything together and sort of let the berries cook down and the mixture is going to thicken over time and then once you think it's ready you can take it off the heat and let it cool and yeah that's pretty much it as you can see here i kind of mashed the berries a little bit more with my spoon just to make it a smoother consistency but if you like it chunky you don't have to do that either all right so now it's time to assemble our oatmeal parfaits so i'm using leftover peanut butter jars you could just use tupperware if you want but you're just going to start by putting a thin layer of the blueberry lemon chia seed jam into your jar and then add a layer of some of the cinnamon zucchini oatmeal repeat with some more jam you know the drill add some more oats and i just continued this process until my jar was completely filled to the top and I repeated this until I ran out of oats and blueberry jam and then once you fill your jars you can top them using whatever toppings you want I decided to add some fresh blueberries and then I mixed it up I added some cacao nibs, pumpkin seeds coconut chips you can add some nut butter other berries really whatever you want and then once you're done you're just going to seal the lids on those and then store them in their fridge until you're ready to grab them and go and eat them for breakfast and as you can see the oats are super thick and creamy and delicious and i honestly was super happy with this recipe and i've made it multiple times since this video so next we're going to be making our sweet potato and black bean breakfast burritos and i guess technically these could just be burritos but you know if you say something's for breakfast then you can eat it for breakfast so for this recipe we're going to start out with three sweet potatoes you're going to peel your sweet potatoes and then dice your sweet potatoes into bite-sized pieces and then 
we're going to add a splash of water to a pan over medium heat and we're going to add a diced yellow onion with our sweet potatoes and you're just going to cook those down until they become a little bit more tender the sweet potato is definitely the toughest veggie in this so it's going to take the longest amount of time to cook so that's why I added it to the pan first so once they steam for a few minutes you can just remove the lid and they should be more soft Give everything a stir just for good measure. Then we're going to add our black beans and a cup of salsa of choice. If you like things spicy, you can use a hot salsa. Then I just added two tablespoons of nutritional yeast to give everything a good cheesy flavor because nutritional yeast is just life, guys. I feel like I use it so much, but it's so good. So then you're just going to mix everything together and cover it again, and you're just going to cook this for a few minutes more until all the flavors have incorporated and the sweet potatoes are nice and tender. So as you can see, everything is nice and mixed right here. So at this point, I just remove it from the heat and let it cool a little bit. And then it's time to assemble our burritos. So I'm using these tortillas that I got at Whole Foods. And it doesn't really matter what tortillas you would use, but those are just the ones I decided to use. Then I decided to add a little bit of fresh spinach as well. I didn't want to cook this with the actual grains just because I thought it would be too wilted once you reheated it again. So I just added my spinach and my sweet potato black bean mixture into a burrito and then I folded it up. And I believe this is how you're supposed to fold a burrito so nothing leaks. Um, yeah, seemed to work for me. And then I wrapped my burrito in some parchment paper and this is good because parchment paper is freezer safe and it's microwavable so it's easy to grab and go when you're in a hurry so you're just going to repeat this until you run out of sweet potato mixture and i like to store these in the freezer so i put them in my reusable freezer safe bag and then in the morning when you want to grab them and go you can just microwave them for about a minute and they'll be nice and warm and ready to eat but you can also store these in your fridge it'd be a little bit faster i suppose but whenever you're ready to eat them you can just Cut them in half, see all that delicious goodness inside of the burrito. We got our sweet potatoes, our black beans, our salsa, our spinach. That's pretty much it, but hey, those are good ingredients. And if you want, you can serve these burritos with some extra salsa to dip them into, or you can make a cashew sour cream, or you can make some guacamole. You could even add extra veggies into your burritos, but I think this is a great on-the-go breakfast or meal in general, especially if you don't like to have sweet food first thing in the morning. And then finally, we're going to be making some Chunky Monkey banana bread muffins, and I absolutely love these. And to start out, we're just going to make six tablespoons of water with two tablespoons of chia seeds or flax seeds to make a egg. And then in a bowl, we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. So some rolled oats, some oats that I blended into oat flour. And I just wanted to mention that when you make oat flour, make sure it's really fine. Like you can see here, that's a common mistake. I see that people don't blend their oats enough and it makes the final product a little bit more chunky and less smooth. But you're also going to add some coconut sugar, baking powder and salt. And then you're just going to mix everything together until it's nice and evenly distributed. And then in another bowl, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So for the base of this recipe, we're going to be using three bananas and make sure your bananas are ripe and spotty with lots of brown spots. That's what makes them sweeter and will make this taste more delicious. So you're just going to mash those until they form a nice little paste. And then we're going to add some vanilla extract, some apple cider vinegar, our chia egg or flax egg from earlier. And then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of peanut butter to give this recipe some extra nutty goodness and flavor. So then you're just going to mix all of these wet ingredients together until they're well incorporated. And then from there, we're going to add in our dry mixture. And then you're just going to continue to mix everything until you have a nice and even dough and there aren't any clumps. So these are chunky monkey muffins, so we gotta add some good toppings. So we're going to add some cacao nibs and chopped walnuts. You could also use chocolate chips if you wanted to or another nut, but this is the traditional chunky monkey flavor. So I just chopped with the walnuts pretty finely, added those to the bowl, and then I stirred that in. And then finally, we're going to add some banana chunks. So we're going to take one more banana, and I like to cut my bananas lengthwise, like you can see here. And then I just use my knife to make little tiny pieces, so I guess, I cut the banana coins in half. So you're just going to cut all of those and then you're going to gently fold them into the mixture. And I'm just doing this last because they are a little bit more tender and you don't want them to turn into like the banana mush that we made earlier. So once you have your batter, you're going to put it into a muffin tray. I'm using a silicone line tray here because I don't have to coat it with oil or use baking liners. So I just filled 
off each of the tins and I used up all the muffin mix for this. Then you're just going to bake them in the oven for about 35 minutes and they come out nice and golden brown and fluffy and yeah these are absolutely delicious i love them i modified them off of my banana bread recipe on my blog that's one of my most popular recipes and unlike a lot of vegan banana breads they're actually pretty fluffy so i wanted to show you guys a close-up as you can see as you pull the muffin away it's pretty dang beautiful so personally i would probably pack between two and three of these for breakfast just to make sure it had enough food you also might want to pack some extra peanut butter or other nut butter on the side to put on top to make them even more delicious and that is everything for this video. Normally I ask you guys to tell me in the comments what your favorite recipe from the video was, but we're gonna switch it up today and I want you guys to tell me what your favorite weekday morning breakfast is. When I was a kid, my favorite was a toasted everything bagel with cream cheese and a glass of orange juice. Luckily, Kite Hill uh, makes this awesome vegan cream cheese, so I can still have that whenever I want. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and be sure to click that little subscribe button down there if you like what you're seeing. I post two new videos every single week, so, you know, you don't want to miss out on the fun. And if you're not new to my channel, thanks for sticking around. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I do really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye!